Basic uses and properties of future builder. Here's a basic loader application. Now, let's understand what a future builder is and what does it do. Future Builder is a widget that helps us work with futures easily. Unlike any other widget, it does not help us with UI designs, but help us with collecting data from future methods. If you're new to Dart and Flutter or any other programming languages and unfamiliar with futures, I will leave a link down below in the description. Hopefully that could help you understand futures better. Now let's get back to Future Builder widget. Here, I divided the video in two parts. In the first, we simply return a string value from our future method where we won't need any internet connection. However, we work with future only when we need data from REST API, for which we need internet connection. So, in the other part, I collect data from an REST API and use it in our application. Which could help you better in working with future builder. For the first part of the video, we simply need to return a string through a future method. So I use delayed method of future, which we can provide a specific duration for the data to be received. If you're not catching up, keep watching the video. Now, simply wrap the widget, where you need the data, with a future builder. There are two properties that we need in future builder. The first is future property. It accepts a future, so we can just provide the future method that we created. The builder property accepts a function that returns a widget. It also provides us two parameters, that is, context, which is the builder context, and a sim snapshot, where we receive the data from the future. Now we can use a snapshot data within the widget that we returned. Here you see an error saying string value can't be null etc. As we know, when we work with futures, we can receive the data anytime, depending on various factors, such as speed of internet connection, server errors etc. which could lead to errors and crash in our application. To avoid such issues, we can just use conditional statements with the snapshot data that we receive, such as we can check the connection state, if it has data or does not has data, or even if it has error. Keep on watching the video and see how we can handle such errors in future builder. Now, let's get to the second part of the video. Since we will be working with HTTP request, let's add the HTTP package from pub.dev. Here's an free API that randomly give a person details. We'll just be using few of the datas.
Before that, let's create a layout design where we will render the data that we receive. Now, from the API we will receive the name, image, email address and gender, as you see it in the simulator. So, I created a class as random user, with those properties, where we will receive the data. Here, I renamed the future method and work on getting the data from the API. As you see in the console, we get nested maps and list from the HTTP request. I created a empty list of random user where we will hold the user data and once we get the data, we will return it. And now by importing Dart Convert, we can decode the data that we receive from the request for us to use. As you see here results is a key for list of users information, so I will hold results in a separate variable in my case, it's not necessary though, you can just make the path directly also.
since result is a list of users, so, I used for loop, to loop through the list, and map the necessary data with random user object, that I created, back then. And after mapping, I added it to the list of random user that I created earlier with the app method of list and then return the list. Now, we'll get a list of random user object in the snapshot data. Since we have the data now, we can use it in anywhere within the widget that we returned with Future Builder. We can access each data by snapshot.data providing the index as we are getting the data as list even if it's only one and then dot name for name, email for email, etc. That's all for basic uses and properties of Future Builder. As always thank you for watching, and if my videos are helpful to you, subscribe the channel, leave a like in the video. I will be coming with more Flutter widgets.